Hi everyone, Karen here from One Family, One Menu. Hope everybody's doing well. I am here today to show you how to cook rice on your stovetop. I'm gonna show you how to make white rice and brown rice because they cook differently. So come with me and I'll show you how to do it on your stovetop, zero gadgets and only rice and your pot. Let's go. All right guys, so this is one of my pots, this is gonna be for brown rice, and I have it over medium heat in my, on my stove. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the bottom. Why? I like my rice grainy and um, not really sticky, so I add a little bit of oil. If you don't want, you don't have to add oil. Really, to cook rice, all you need is the rice, the pot, and water. But I like adding a little bit of oil. Now. I am going to add one cup of brown rice. I washed my rice. I always wash my rice because I like it. Uh, I like to wash it because sometimes it has some impurities and it's nicer and cleaner when you, when you do that. You take some of the starch off, it's nice. So once I put my rice in here, I toss it around, right? I want it to get coated completely with the oil, but I also add a little bit of salt. Now, rice sucks up salt, so I'm gonna add two pinches of salt. If you don't wanna add salt, you don't have to. Again, rice, all you need is water and the rice in the pot. But I like it with a little bit of flavor. Now that all the grains have been coated with the salt and the um, oil, I'm going to add my water. To one cup of any rice, you're going to add one and a, one and three cups of water if you like it grainy. If you like it sticky, you add two cups. I like mine grain on the grainier side, so I add one and a, and a three quarter cup. Now, when that's done, I am going to make sure I toss it around, move it around, and leave it at medium heat until, you see, these are the little things that I take out when I wash, but sometimes they stay, so you want to remove them. Um, I leave it at medium heat until it boils. Once it boils, I'm going to completely cover it and lower the heat to low, and I'm gonna leave it there for 40 minutes. Guys, brown rice cooks in 40 minutes, but you have to leave the lid on untouched for 40 minutes on very on low heat. In my On my stove, it would be a number two. So let's wait for it to boil and I'll cover it. All right, guys, you see the rice is bubbling? That means it's boiling. So now we are going to cover our rice with our lid and we're gonna lower the heat to low. I'm gonna put mine on between the two and the low. So I'm gonna let it cook there for 40 minutes. I have my timer right here. Now I'm gonna make one cup of white rice. I've already washed my rice. Process is the same as the brown rice. You put it into your pot and after you've cleaned it with some oil on the bottom, if you want, oil is optional. Toss it around, cover each thing of rice and a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to add my water and for one cup of rice, I need two cups, if you like it sticky, or one cup and three quarters, if you like it grainy, which is what I like. I like my rice grain. I'm gonna toss it around, and you're gonna wait for it to boil. So our white rice, you see it's over here, it's boiling. That means we're ready to cover it with our lid. And now we're gonna lower the heat. And we're going to cook 
our white rice for 20 minutes. White rice cooks in less time than brown rice because the brown rice is a whole grain. But the white rice has already been uh, taken apart and removed a lot of its parts, so it's not a whole grain anymore. Therefore, it cooks for 20 minutes, half of the time of brown rice. We'll be back when each one is done. You guys, the white rice is ready. So it's been 20 minutes. My timer just rang, and we're going to open it and look at it. I didn't open it in the middle of the cooking process and it is done perfectly done guys look at that it is grainy it's perfect there is nothing else that you need to do also if you like to leave what we call on the bottom kong kong which is a little crusted rice you can leave it for a little while longer like 10 minutes longer but this is perfect this is you can serve this with whatever else you're eating. Now, we gotta wait for the brown rice to finish cooking and we'll see you in another 20 minutes. All right, guys, the brown rice, it's been 40 minutes and it's done. All right, let's see if you can get closer to that a little bit. You see how grainy it is? I mean, look at that, it's perfect. It's not stuck to the bottom. Again, you can leave it longer if you like to have it a little crust on the bottom, it's really good. Otherwise, you're ready, you're done. And that, guys, is how you cook brown and white rice.